Hey guys, welcome to uh, another video here. Um, I just kind of uh, took a nap right now and I just barely woke up and um, drinking some coffee here, so, uh, waking myself up here. <laughs> but uh, it's good, uh, coffee time. Um, the subject I want to talk about today uh, is something that's been on my mind for a little bit and uh, something that I felt like I should be uh, talking about here. And, uh, because it's going to be quite relative here, uh, coming up here in the future, is uh, uh, who gets ET visitation? Do certain people get ET visitation compared to other people? You know, like how does that all work? How does it happen? Who gets it? Why do they get it? And what is that all about? So, ET visitation is very interesting. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll have to talk about ETs for a bit here before I get into to the whole, um, you know, why it happens. Um, we are at, at at a time right now, uh, a very special time on this planet, uh, on Earth, um, in our society, in our time period, where where everything's changing, right? Uh, uh, December twenty first, twenty twelve. That's what that was all about. A uh, change, like a like a new uh, beginning of a new cycle, a new age. And I'm not talking about new age, you know, uh, spiritual stuff. I'm just talking about a, a brand new beginning. Um, but new age spiritual stuff has has you know it's part of it. It's just uh, it's, it's one of the uh, things that that had you know occurred from from people waking up and and uh, spirituality becoming more popular here. So times are changing, right? Uh, uh, we're we're getting to kind of like a breaking point here as far as humans on on the planet. Um, things are are really really chaotic and crazy right now. But uh, we are at, at a prime time where. We, we've evolved to a certain point and we have all this attention from uh, ETs uh, out there, you know, out there and also here, already here on Earth. Uh, when you talk about the ETs, there's also ITs, which is interterrestrials, which which just refers to, to, to the uh, um, people that are not human living underneath the Earth, underground, basically. There is no hollow Earth that's complete bogus, but there are big cities down there, uh, big, uh, um, uh, just, you know, Big cities. I mean, you, you're not going to find something like New York or Los Angeles down there, but you you will find big complexes down there where people live. Uh, uh, I call them people because they're all people, um, but they're not exactly human, not human at all, you know. But they they're friendly and and they're people. So we're we're, we're at this point, you know, where uh, we're getting ready to, uh, to 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 join our family out in space and. Uh, this whole idea that that uh, we're the only ones out there, we're the only uh, intelligent life form out in you know in, in this vast cosmos, it's complete bogus. I mean, it's it's nonsense. Um, it's just whenever a very advanced uh, species or a race like like ETs, uh, uh, you know, be it greys or reptilians, and there's many different types. Um, whenever they want to first kind of make themselves known to to a certain uh, species or race to to help them out or what what have you. Um, they have to be careful in how they do it. There's rules, there's protocols, there's laws put in place to where they can't just kind of pop in uh, without, you know, the proper perm permissions and stuff like that because it would just cause mass panic. I mean, imagine what would happen if if uh, you, uh, today, right now, you know, in the next hour, a, a big ship uh, hovers over New York or, or some big metropolitan area, you know, People would freak out. People would uh, go grab their guns or something. You know, people would do stupid things. And um, uh, the timing is not right, but I'm telling you right now, it's 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 coming up very soon here. And more and more people are waking up, and that's all part of this. More and more people are, are becoming more awake and aware, spiritually, metaphysically. Um, so when they approach a planet, uh, a certain race that, that they want to kind of just, you know, introduce themselves and, and say, hi, you know, this is who we are. They first do it by metaphysical means, right? Uh, they 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 look for people who have metaphysical abilities, who are quote unquote psychic, and I don't like that word psychic, but uh, you know that's part of it, and uh, it's just to convey a, a certain meaning. That's why I'm using it. Um, that's what they look for because these people they they have a strong seer energy. You know they can see with their pineal glands, they can see with the different metaphysical glands and energy centers in your brain, which is all where the metaphysical vision happens, you know, remote viewing, astral projection, the pineal gland, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And also the heart, the heart is, um, 
very powerful metaphysical tool when it comes to feeling energy and stuff like that. So they look for these people who, who are who are powerful and strong and, and open minded. They can they actually consider people like this more intelligent. I mean, you know, can't build a rocket ship, right? I mean, uh, uh, for me, <laughs> speaking for myself here, I mean, I don't, uh, I'm, I can't build a freaking rocket ship. You know, I don't, um, I, I'm not, you know, um, on that level of, of intelligence. But uh, metaphysically speaking, they actually, the ETs consider people that have, uh, that are more open-minded and that uh, have metaphysical abilities more intelligent because they have figured out that they and they have figured out a long time ago that uh, the metaphysical world, the spiritual world, is just as relative and just as part of, of our physical life. So their equipment, their technology, is actually imbued with metaphysical energy. It actually requires you to to have metaphysical abilities, to have uh, the ability to, to work with your own your own energy in order to use some of their technology. So it's really cool. It's really fascinating stuff and. Um, uh, they figured this out a long time. That's why they can travel with the stars. That's why they can go wherever they want. You know, the unlimited free energy. You know, they they don't need to drive gas and and, and, and you know, um, have electricity sent through wooden telephone poles. Like that's ridiculous. You know, that's that's archaic. And um, but we're still there, uh, for for you know, a, a, for a not so good reason. <laughs> um, second coffee. So <clears throat> it's good. I I put a splash of brandy in this. Uh, no, cognac. It's nice. Uh, just black coffee. Um, so, ETs will always make themselves uh, shown and 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 uh, more you know appear more to people who are more metaphysical. Um, I attended the MUFON 2019 Symposiums event this last summer with my, my good friends Mike and Phil, and we went down to Irvine. They have their annual symposiums, which they rented out a big hotel, nice hotel, uh, and. Um, Sorry, um, pressure in my head. And we, we went there. MUFON uh, is, is the world's most uh, reputable organization as far as studying UFOs and ETs. Um, it stands for Mutual M, yeah, Mutual UFO and then Network, MUFON. So, M-U-F-O-N. So, um, they had their annual symposiums and they, they invited a whole uh, 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 a whole panel of speakers r ranging from you know former military people uh former experiencees who, who've had abductions yada 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 and, and scientists and engineers all this stuff and it was really really cool really reputable people these are not you know tinfoil hat people these are legit phds uh people that have been doing this stuff for a while and they have a whole study for this called ufology i'm not a ufologist myself but um uh, that's what these people do and what one person that one person in particular that i really i enjoyed his speech very much was uh dr joseph burks um, he's been doing this for four decades. He's an older gentleman now, and he's he's been doing this for four decades, studying uh, strange phenomenon in the sky, uh, UFOs, you know, uh, Mothman, Bigfoot, this kind of stuff. So um, he mentioned he, he said something very interesting in the speech, which I really enjoyed. Um, in the middle of his speech, during his prime time, he would have a whole team of people, scientists, you know, very educated people, serious people. Uh, you know, whole camera crew, like cameras and electronic equi equipment and measuring stuff and, and this and that. He would go out into the middle of the woods or something or somewhere very remote or somewhere high up in the mountains and just aim cameras in the sky and just try to capture, hope to capture UFOs flying. And and he was doing this and very serious about this stuff. And um, he had mentioned how he, him and his whole team, his whole crew of people, I forgot how many, but, you know, serious, logical, conscious, you know, like like very smart people would go out there and, and they wouldn't have too many sightings, you know, they would have one every so often. And then they brought on a uh, somebody who, who they considered very psychic. Uh, they, they, they brought on a young guy from Eastern Europe and uh, Belarus, I believe, and, and he was like a meditator and he meditated and he was very psychic, blah, blah, blah. He had strong abilities, strong seeing abilities. And, and, and Dr. Joseph Burks noted in his speech that when they brought this guy on, and he was a younger guy, when they brought him on, the uh, amount of UFO appearances, uh, 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 you know, tenfold, uh, uh, appeared more, like 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 a lot more. Um, it, it doubled, tripled. It, you know, it, it was up by tenfold the, the the amount of appearances they were seeing, and it was crazy. And and he noted that uh, whenever you have somebody around that's like that, you know, like metaphysical person who's who can see, who who you know, uh, psychic again, you know. Um, 
he noted in, in his research that uh, UFOs tend to pop in more when those people are around. Oh, I wonder why. <laughs> you know, that's how they say hi. They will actually come and astral project to you. And when they do, it's like um, you'll be sitting there in your room, relaxing, meditating, whatever you're doing. And uh, you, you'll have your eyes closed, whatever. And then all of a sudden, you'll see a big face in your head. And it's like an ET face. Maybe it's like a gray. You see the almond eyes, the, you know, the, the, the uh, small body. Sometimes you don't see the body. Most, most times you, you, you just see the face and the head in, in, in your vision right here, in, in, in your metaphysical vision. Um, it all happens right here in the energy field, the pineal gland. Uh, the physical gland produces, the physical pineal gland is like the size of a raisin in the center of your forehead. It produces an energy field that comes up, come, extends out of your forehead. And in this area right here, that's where the, the images come. So, you know, it's not your physical eyes. So that's why you see when your eyes are closed, you see it in your head, basically. And um, they, uh, uh, you know, They'll come to you, and 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 it it might be it might be a, a shock at first. You might be like, "Whoa, what the heck?" You know, you see this big old face, and you're just meditating. And you're like, "What's going on? What's this?" And and sometimes they're very aggressive. So sometimes they're they they they're very excited. They 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 want to be shown. They want to be seen. So they do something like in your face, and you you you're, you're kind of thrown off your game. You know, because you're just like, "What what's going on here?" Um, that's just them coming and saying hi. That's all it is. They just want to say hi, and and. Uh, it's time. It is time for for us as a, as a, as a society, you know, as a race, the human race. Uh, seven point seven, yeah, seven point seven billion people, which is a crazy, ridiculous amount of of uh, uh, people in physical bodies on, on this planet. It's very high. Um, it's not normal. Most planets they don't have that much people, especially the uh, more advanced races. They don't have seven point seven billion people. It's kind of crazy, but uh, it, it's the situation right now and. Uh, um, it's time for us as a human race, all of us, to to be to acknowledge that uh, that there's actually life out there, up in space and, and also underground. There are our friends, you know, these these aliens, these reptilians, these. Uh, um, I was going to say Anunnaki, and I need I need to talk about Anunnaki here in a second. But these reptilians, these greys, and also insectoid-looking people, and more humanoid-looking people like us, all these people, they are are brothers and sisters they're just very much more advanced but they're 99 percent of everything that's out there is here to help um the one the small one percent that came came around and gave us a hard time abducting people that has all been stopped um it used to happen a lot in the 70s and uh, some stories you hear are true about being taken and being having experiments done on them like that that was just horrific abusive stuff they would literally take somebody and just do whatever they wanted you know, uh, uh, experiments, yada, 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 scar somebody for life, and, and you know, a, a cattle mutilations, right? They would take cattle and kill, kill. I mean, that, that was just horrendous stuff, but that, that stuff is stopped completely, and uh, that stuff doesn't happen anymore because there's new rules, there, there's new power players placed um, who are also ETs, but are, they're, they're like, you know, the, the, the guardians, the, the um, <laughs> guardians, they're like the strongest uh, life form out there and, and the most technologically advanced and they're very cool they're protectors and, and, and they they pretty much stopped all that so we are just kind of uh, uh going through you know going through life right now but um i'm telling you there's going to be some massive change here coming up very soon and it's going to be a very tumultuous kind of change um and part of that change has to do with our friends showing up popping up here and and, and really you know formally introducing themselves and uh it's important to, to, to note um, why they do what they do, why they show up to certain people, because uh, that's who they need to show. To, that's who they need to make themselves known first. Like that, it's it's a subtle way of introduction. Basically, it's like you know, um, looking at finding people with strong energy, and it's not just people that are metaphysical or, or quote unquote psychic that they visit. You know, um, they, there's also many other variables here. There's also many other, many other reasons like. Maybe one person uh, can have, maybe somebody's had a pa many past lives with, with a certain race out there and that do, they did a lot of work with them and now in this life, you know, they're here on earth and, and they're, they're buddies who they've had past lives with, cruising out there on, on a ship or something, you know, and uh, on a craft. And so uh, they know that that person's around here and they come by and help. You know, there's so many different things, so many different variables as to why uh, one may get visitation like that. Keep in mind also that uh, uh, 
they know who you are before you even get visited you, you you've been vetted basically they know your energy they know your frequency they know, they know your spirit they know your, your your life what you know what 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 you've essentially been doing your whole life and not only this life but they, they can see your past lives too they have technology they have equipment that can look at you it's like a scanner right they scan your energy they see what you did in this life and they they, 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 look at, they look at your energy centers you know where you're strongest at if you have a strong pineal if you can see or you can feel whatever it is um, and then they they can look at your past lives as well. They can see where where you were in past lives. They really can't, you know. Like it's it's fascinating stuff, and uh, so that so they know. So you you know you know if you get visitations, you've already been vetted. Like it's it's already it's already a done deal. It's already you know it's not like a new thing that they know who you are. They're very cautious about doing this. Uh, but when somebody's cleared up, and they'll just come, they'll keep coming, they'll keep popping into you saying hi. I can share my first experience of uh, um, uh, ET visitation because it, it, this was back in 2016 when I really started getting stronger, stronger and stronger with my own, my own energy, my own metaphysical abilities. Seeing this is also when the NSA caught on to me and started following me physically. People started following me, working for the government and the NSA, you know, um, higher up NSA people that do that keep track of this kind of stuff. And uh, back in 2016, early on, I believe um, I had a powerful visitation from a, a, a female Anunnaki. Anunnaki is not a uh, Serpolian, I mean, Serpolian, Serpolian, Sumerian, Serpolians are grace, um, ET grace, Sumerian. Anunnaki is usually defined as a Sumerian gods or some weird crap like that on the internet. It's completely false. Anunnaki is just the uh, the name for, for a, a very specific race of reptilians who are very powerful, very ancient, very strong, very big and masculine. Um, sorry, not masculine, muscular, like, you know, strong, both male and female. Um, Anunnaki reptilians are, are, are huge, like average eight feet tall. And they're big, you know, they're, they're like a bodybuilder in, 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 you know, in their prime. Like, like it's, it's just crazy. And, um, but, but they're very, basically, the physical bodies are very advanced. That's why they're like that. And they live for a very long time, too much longer than 100 years so um 2016 early 2016 i was sitting in my room on my bed and uh late at night i was doing a quick little relaxing slash meditation session and just kind of sitting there closing my eyes whatever you know uh not doing much but i was opening up i was opening my energy up and i was just kind of opening up and whatever came in came in so i'm sitting there and all of a sudden I see this big head in my vision, uh, reptilian. It looked like Godzilla, right? Like like a like a miniature Godzilla head. I mean, huge, a uh, huge big head, um, like that. And then and then the the, the mouth kind of just went out, you know, like a lizard. And uh, 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 her, it was female. Uh, her her mouth also opened up all the way to the back here, and her teeth were, were razor sharp, like shark teeth. And I could see in such fine detail. My vision, my vision, my, my metaphysical vision of my pineal gland was very clear. Um, so I could see like uh, it still is. It's just on and off, you know. But that night in particular, it was very powerful. I, I was I was just cranked up that night. So, but I could see all these like bumps and grooves on on her face. I mean, her her face looked like a a, a, a topo topographical map of of mountains, you know, like a bumpy, groovy, and uh, her eyes are small no hair um hairless you know uh rept reptiles are usually they don't have hair so she's looking at me and i'm like wow this is powerful i mean i, I could see everything so hd that, like watching an hd movie and then all of a sudden she starts opening her mouth like that like ah, you know like raw you know like not raw but just open close open close but opening very wide and uh to most people I think most people would probably freaked out if they saw what I saw. Most people would think, oh my gosh, it's trying to eat me, blah, blah, blah. Um, but no, I didn't feel that. Because when you're using metaphysical abilities, you're also using your heart and your solar plexus, your gut, and you're, you feel into the situation just as much as you see it. Um, so I, I, I didn't feel that, oh my gosh, you know, um, there's, there's danger, danger. No, it was more like, it was more like she was very urgent. She, she, she was acting very urgent. And I was like, okay, what does she want? And uh, I guess I missed a message. So basically, I, I 
she was doing it so much it kind of distracted me so i i, I sent a strong thought in my head this time by now by, by now i'm talking with her telepathically this is telepathic communication that the ets do with people um also part of first contact is like they come to you they visit you metaphysically they they, they ask to project to you and then they start talking to you telepathically so telepathic communication very important here um sorry so I told her telepathically, I sent the thought to her, I said, look, stop, just stop, you know, like, I'm, I'm just whatever. And she stopped. And I was like, holy crap, because she was kept, kept doing this. And then um, not talking, just kept opening her mouth, open, close, open, close. And uh, I just said, stop, you know, like, like, it's distracting. I don't know what you want. And, then, and so she stopped. And she was like, kind of like set back. Like, she looked at me kind of like, oh, he doesn't know, you know, like, like, like that, that kind of look. And then I just kind of got out that meditation. I was like, all right, that's weird. So... I spoke to a friend uh, about it uh, later on, Jay, and uh, Jay said, you know, he, she wanted, she was, she just wanted to talk to you because when they do, when, when you're doing this, it means I want to talk. So I went back and, and I found her again. I was went back into meditation like a week later, relaxing. I found her again. I wanted to talk to her, and she was very cool. Uh, I, I I traced back to where she where she was located, living, and I thought she was on a ship, but no. You know, I thought she was maybe floating in space on, on, on a craft. But no, she was living underground, underneath Alaska. Um, there's a lot of bases down there, uh, you know, ITs, interterrestrial bases. And uh, she was out, if you look at the Aleutian Islands, the chain of islands of, of Alaska that go like that. And you, you go out into the ocean a little bit. That's where she's at, under underneath the ocean. And that's where there's a big base of them, uh, of these Anun Anunnaki reptilians who... who um, live down there um and it's just like living quarters i don't knock your reptilians Re reptilians are not bad reptilians are, are naturally aggressive in whatever they do be it good or good or bad positive or negative they're just naturally aggressive pe people um the, uh, reptilians get a bad rap because of the ones that have been contro controlling this planet the ones that have been controlling everything and uh you know i just want people to, to understand that reptilians although when you first see one and they're like eight and a half foot tall you know, huge, big body, looks like they can pick you up with a finger, which, you know, probably could. <laughs> um, uh, they're not bad people. They're very loving, right? very kind people. They're, they're um, this female was, it's just, you got, you, you, you got your bad apples and just so happens that we, we have a basket of bad apples here on earth. And these, these, this basket of uh, bad apples has been running the earth for for quite a long time they've been controlling all the governments they control everything so but that's going away and it's already gone away actually right now you just have people like the nsa and the cia scrambling for power which they're not going to get anything anyway so but uh, that's about it um so i want you guys to to you know uh know that like that's how these kind of uh, communications first occur. They they choose people who 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 are awake and, and, and uh, open minded and aware metaphysically. They can see for you know contact and also telepathic communication. They first come in, pop in, say hi, and then it, 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 if you can, if if you're a strong telepath, they can talk to you in your head. You can talk back and forth. That's it. Um, this is something that's very important for the future here because in the future there will be an event that will play out and uh, it'll, it'll be a global event things will get shaken up right and uh, through through this event there will be an opportunity for ETs to come in and actually formally introduce themselves so um, and this is very soon here this is not this is not too far off anyway um, that's it and uh, to you know, to everybody that's been, uh, I, I just want to address a couple of things here before I close this video. To everybody that's been asking about uh, J S X and how he's doing, I, I get what you, I get what you guys are, you know, feeling. It's like it's all love. I, I get it. You know, you guys are wondering how he's doing, etc. And and so am I. Um, but I, I, you know, you guys have to understand, it's not my place to to answer that question. You know, like to talk about him, like, oh yeah, he's doing it, blah, blah blah. No, it's just not my place to answer it. And honestly, if I were to answer that question, like, how is he? I think I would, I think I would say the same thing I said two years ago or a year and a half ago when I made a video about it, because um, it was the same thing. A year and a half ago, people were asking me, you know, like, oh, well, what's he been up to? How's he doing? And I just said, like, you know, instead of worrying about him, 
well, uh, do you, you know, like focus on yourself, uh, uh, focus on working on your own abilities, getting stronger, you know, uh, getting, you know, doing whatever you need to do in your life to make adjustments, to, to, to make improvements and everything else will be taken care of for you. All the big stuff will be taken care of, you know, I, uh, I, I get it, you know, like I, you know, we, we all want to know what's going on and, uh, but right now is, is a time of, uh, change and also patience, I would say, yeah. Have patience. Um, it's hard to have patience. I know. It's. It's. And I think the older you get, the less patience you have. But, um, it's like, it's just, it's just not my place to really talk about him like that. You know, he's a dear friend of mine. He's a friend and a mentor, not just of mine and also you guys as well. And those of you that know him, you know, and uh, those of you that have gotten the crank up and, and worked with him in the past, you know, he, I know he means a lot to all of us. So. Um, just, just do, you know, just work on, just work on yourselves and just kind of keep going. And, uh, um, I just want to thank everybody that came out to the stone energy events too. the uh, stone energy event I just had in Hollywood, uh, last weekend. And I'm having one in a couple of days here, uh, out in Fresno again, same stone shops, you know, thank you. Thank you guys for, for coming to, to those events. Um, these stone energy events taught me talking about stone energy. They are more than I ever expected. <laughs> they're more, you know, uh, started out slow, but but they're honestly, they, they're, they're progressing now to much, much better, like more than I ever expected. I, I, I thought maybe a couple people would show up, you know. I talk with the owners of the shop and, you know, we, we work out a deal and then they, um, you know, put it on their schedule and I, I advertise it here on, on YouTube, on social media just to get the word out, but uh, I... Um, I, you know, honestly, I didn't expect too much. I was just like, oh, maybe two or three people might show up, some locals or something, you know. Um, it's gotten much bigger than, than, than I thought. So uh, thank you. Seriously, thank you for coming out and supporting me and doing that. And um, I'm going to keep doing them. So, you know, Silicon Valley, uh, Hollywood, Fresno, and some other places, some other cities I want to touch here in California. I want to just kind of cover all of California if I can. Uh, but I have to go out. I have to go out and start making calls and, and introducing myself and talking to different uh, stone uh, store, you know, uh, owners and stuff like that. And so, um, yeah, thank you. Uh, that's great. I, I really, I appreciate it, man. Because like, you know, <laughs> um, the people that go there, are, they need to be there. Uh, they, some of them are guided to, to, to go there. Some of them are told, pushed go there they look at a poster of my workshop you know because the shop the shops usually produce posters and they look at it and they're like oh my gosh i, I need to go they feel they have a strong sensation and strong like push to go urge that's the other side that's their spirit guides pushing them or you know a source energy on the, on the other side pushing them like go 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 you know like you, you got to see this so it's been great i i'm i've been i've been enjoying it and um yeah and uh, thank you for everybody that's been uh uh buying stones on my uh, uh, mineral store uh, on my Etsy mineral shop uh, FZ minerals um, you guys seriously you guys support me and you know without without you guys I, I couldn't do this I, I, I couldn't um, you know make vlogs and 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 uh, keep going it, it would be very hard you know because financially um, it's 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 just you know we, we, we all have to operate in this in this world of, of money and and uh, stuff like that it's going you know that will slowly go away too but you know for now it, it's how it is and uh thank you for all the support um from everybody that's bought stones everybody that's come into my classes um it keeps me going it, it, it allows me to continue on with, with what i want you know what i'm doing here spiritually and stuff like that metaphysically and um on i just want to announce that on on black friday um one second Okay, I'm back. So, uh, I want to announce that uh, on, on Black Friday, I'll be having a sale on my stone stone uh, store on Etsy, FC Minerals. I'll be having a, a store-wide sale um, on, on everything on my store. And it'll be, it, it, it'll run on Friday 29th, November 29th, which is Black Friday, I believe. Uh, the 30th on Saturday, and then uh, the 1st on Sunday. So, it, it'll run for these three days. And uh, it's going to be the biggest sale that that uh, I'll have probably um, ever. Um, well, not ever, um, but it will be the biggest sale of the year for for me anyway. Because I've had sales before, you know, like Fourth of July sales, Halloween sales, etc. Um, but this sale is going to be big, and um, 
Uh, so if there's something that you want, and you know, I constantly post new stuff like weekly on my Etsy new listings, uh, new stones for sale. Um, if there's something that you want, I would keep an eye on it because you know some of these stones, um, they're all one of a kind, right? I don't really have. I have a couple of stones where you know um, they're they're like uh, uh, polished, like, like polished selenites. You know, I have multiple quantity quantities of it, which are and they're very similar. But for the most part, the stones I sell, they're they're one of a kind. So once it's gone, it's gone. A lot of the good stuff goes pretty fast. I mean, that's just how the uh, <laughs> the business is, I guess, you know, because me personally, when I buy a stone, if I see something good, I'll take it. I'll grab it, you know, um, regardless of whether or not there's a sale because I know that it's going to be gone uh, uh, in a couple of days or something. That's that's usually how I am. So, um, I'm, but I'm, I'm going to have the sale up, uh, be store-wide, um, uh, discount, and uh, it, it, it'll be cool, you know, just doing the whole Black Friday thing, I guess. Um, um, but it, 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 it'll start on Friday at uh, probably like, you know, 12 a.m. on Friday, and it'll end on at 12 midnight on Sunday. Um, so be on, be on the lookout for that if you guys are interested in getting some stones, maybe a gift or something, you know, a Christmas gift. Um, uh, I got some cool stuff up there, and it's all strong, powerful stuff that'll help you in your, uh, your awakening. So... Um, thank you guys. Thanks again for watching, and I'm gonna be doing more videos here. It's getting kind of dark, uh, and I gotta finish my coffee. It's getting cold. <laughs> Thanks, guys. See you later.